Hey, Church of the Heartland, good to see you again. Hey, before we get too much further, we're going to receive our offering, and then we've got some announcements. i got some stuff to talk to you about. Well, first thing first, what a tremendous Sunday we had last Sunday. As a matter of fact, here, I want to see if we can't get every campus to give out a woohoo. All right, go ahead and try that. Woohoo! Excellent. All right. So, hey, we just, as a team, we pulled it together. We had new people coming. Uh, we really feel the momentum going, and it's because of people like you. You invited your friends. We got out there and made it happen. We made the sanctuaries look great. We worked as a team, and I'm telling you, church, congratulations. We really took it to the next level, but it's not because of the pastor necessarily or, or any kind of leader. It's because all of us together put our hands through the plow, and we made it happen. I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, the last thing I want to say is let's make what happened last Sunday be the brand new normal for every Sunday. Let's have that spirit of excellence every single Sunday. Let's have that spirit of fellowship every single Sunday. Let's have that welcoming people every single Sunday. And let's make what happened last Sunday the brand new normal. Can we do that? All right, let's do that together. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, as we we're about to receive our tithes and offerings, I got something to share with you first. Um, and it comes from Malachi chapter 3. And uh, the Lord's really been just stirring in my heart to encourage everyone the, about the tithe and explain the tithe. Uh, the word tithe is the Bible word. It's the Hebrew word for 10%. And so it means to give 10% to the Lord. And, uh, you know, some people say tithing at 5%. Well, the word tithe itself means 10%. So it really does mean to give 10% uh, to the Lord. And I encourage everyone to be a part of this. And as a matter of fact, if, you, if, you, if this is your home church, Church of the Heartland is your home church, uh, we encourage and expect everyone that makes this the home church to, to give 10% of your income to the kingdom. Now, there's a couple things that are going to happen. One, of course, the church is going to flourish and we're going to be able to have enough money to do all the things that we need to do here in our local communities. But besides that, the Bible says in Malachi 3 that he is going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. The devourer is another word for this, for Satan, the devil. And he's going to rebuke him. In other words, the Lord's going to say, you let go of that person right there. You let go of him or her. You let go of that family. If we're tithing, I'll tell you what, you're going to see the devil's power starting to break over your life because that's exactly what Malachi chapter 3 says. And it also says, uh, Jesus says, in that, uh, Lord says in that same passage, Malachi 3, try me now in this, if I will not open up the windows of heaven over your life. In other words, he says, test me, try me. And it's the only place in the Bible where God tells, uh, tells us to give him a shot, give him a try at this. In other words, you can take it to the bank. I'm encouraging all of you. Maybe you've never tithed before. You go ahead and write that check. Write it out. And I'm telling you, you will find out that God's going to totally bless your finances. I've never had one person come to me and say, well, Pastor Heath, I started tithing, but, you know, uh, nothing's happened. All of them say, wow, hey, that, I was supposed to have to fix my car. It was going to cost $700. It only cost me $200. And they tell me time and time again how God blesses them financially. No, there may not be an exact check in the mail, but you're going to see the blessings of God begin to work in your finances. I thoroughly believe that because that's exactly what the Bible says. Amen. Let's pray for our tithes and offerings today. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for these tithes and offerings. I thank you, Lord, that, uh, that we, everyone here is giving. And Lord, we don't want to pressure people. We're not a high-pressure church. But we do believe that the Bible says uh, to be a church that tithes and to be people that tithe. And we encourage, Lord, everyone to take part in the obedience of tithing. Lord, I praise you and thank you that you are making an uh, overcoming spirit in our finances. And the Lord, the, the back of the devil is being broken over our churches financially and over each of us financially. And we are going to be those that are blessed enough to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. And like always, you can feel free to give online at churchoftheheartland.com. Go down and click on your, uh, your campus and it says give online. And you can give online to your campus right there. And it's really, really cool how we can do that uh, now. So go ahead and do that too. All right, a couple announcements before we wrap this up. Um, pipeline classes are coming. And that is where we go from the 101 class to the 201 class to the 301 class. And a lot of you have been through the 101, and I want to encourage you uh, to go to the 201. And uh, those of you that have never been to the 101, this is a great chance to get to know the church, get to know what we're about. And the 201 is going to be about using what uh, God has given you to build up people and reach people. It's going to be really, really good. I want to encourage you to take part in that uh, coming up in a couple weeks. Matter of fact, it's coming up October 5th. And uh, we got a couple other things. The change of generation, we only have a couple weeks left of that. So we want to make sure we get our, our change from home and throw that in the change box. Uh, we have our prayer encounter September 28th, um, just a couple weeks from now. And uh, that's going to be that next week, actually, next week after church um, that night. 
and it's going to be in Kiwana, Indiana, and we're going to get a uh, map to you so you can make sure you know where that's at. But one, one thing I really want to encourage you is today after church is a crosshairs meeting. And what is a crosshairs meeting? It's a meeting for leaders and workers and anyone that wants to be involved in the ministry. And we have four teams. And if you don't know which team you'd be on, it's okay. We'll, we'll help you find that. Just go ahead and come after church today. And we're going to show you how to, uh, how to get involved in the church in ways that we can brainstorm and take in our churches to the next level, outreaches we can do. And one thing we like to do is think together, collaborate together, and get all the ideas and then implement those ideas. And that's what the Crosshairs meeting's about. And it's after church today. All right, I think that's it. Don't forget to connect uh, with your pastor or with your campus leader. Uh, man, let's do some coffee together. Let's connect somehow. Let's do life together. God bless you.